Hi, my name is Amit Parikh, Manager of Systems Consulting for Quest Software and host of Toad Tips and Tricks, the video series that shows you what's new in the Toad family of products and gives you quick solutions to common database problems. In this Toad Tips and Tricks episode, you will learn how to save time by automating common, repetitive tasks in Toad for Oracle using Toad's Automation Designer. The Automation Designer lets you record common tasks as actions and then play them back later, either manually or automatically using the Windows Scheduler. At this point, I'll turn it over to Quest Systems Consultant Devin Gallagher, who will walk us through the Toad Automation Designer. Take it away, Devin. The version of Toad I'm using is 10.5, and the Automation Designer has been in all version 10 of Toad and some of the later versions of Toad version 9. And you can find the Automation Designer under the Utilities menu, Automation Designer. There's also an icon on the main toolbar, and that would open up the Automation Designer window where you can see any existing applications that you've created and you'll have the ability to create new applications or create your own folders that organize these Toad apps or jobs. And then also the action recall is an area to visit. This is Toad keeping track of a history of Toad tasks or actions that you've already executed and you could perhaps find something you've, you've already done in the past, rerun that on the fly, or perhaps copy and paste that into your own uh, folder where you'll be able to organize your Toad jobs or tasks. You'll also see an execution log of anything you've executed, uh, what you have scheduled to run, and then also a search, the ability to search any of the existing apps or, or Toad jobs you have to, to find something you've already executed. And there you can see a list of all the, the types of functionality that now are in the Automation Designer, and this list continues to grow. A um, couple of other ways you can see what's available to, to execute. But let's talk about creating a new application or a new Toad action. So I can simply click on the Create New icon on the main toolbar or right-click or create a folder and right-click Create New. And this would open up a new app, and then the tabs on the right would be populated. So here you can see, if you mouse over the different icons, the available Toad actions, and you simply select an icon and then drop that in the white space. So a way to see the available actions in Toad is to examine these tabs. Also in the help system in Toad, I've navigated to the purple chapter within Manage Projects and the Action Catalog. So here's a, a quick list of, of some of the features available. This list has already grown where there's a few more things you can schedule, but uh, moving data in or out of the database, uh, exporting DDL, also comparing DDL, comparing schemas, uh, some DBA tasks, the ability to execute a script, also some other actions that you can combine with, with some of the uh, actions that we just listed there. So you can have different levels of, of checks, run something, and, and then perhaps notify someone. So here, for example, if I clicked on the export data set, I could simply drop that in the white space here, and then I could perhaps build an email notification tied to that extract when that's finished. And then from here, I'd double click on that Toad action, and that would open up that window in Toad where I could specify the settings for that task. Okay. So that's one way to manually build your, your task from within the Automation Designer. But another way was the camera icon. So in different windows in Toad, for example, uh, if I was extracting data from the schema browser in the Data tab, click on the Extract Data Set or right-click Export Data, there you'll see the camera icon within that window where I could specify the settings here. For example, if I wanted to extract to an Excel spreadsheet and then clicked on the camera icon here, I could save this to notice it defaults to that app that I just created or any existing application folder that I have here and give this a name I could say Excel extract and then it would send that data or this task rather to my Toad Automation Designer so here I could run this on the fly or if I just revisit my Automation Designer I'd see that new data extract built here within that application tab for more information about the Toad family of products, visit ToadWorld.com. At ToadWorld, you can find more tips and tricks videos, get direct access to industry experts, and network with other Toad developers just like you. ToadWorld.com, your one-stop resource for education, expertise, and collaboration.